Howdy everyone, Mr. Kazi coming to you from beautiful Atascacita, Texas with another homework helper. Let's get started. You're going to need a periodic table. How do you write the electron configuration and orbital notation for arsenic? Well, let's look at our periodic table and we see that arsenic is number 33. And so then it would have 33 electrons. Let's create a plan. Here's the periodic table. And there's where arsenic belongs. And let's look at the energy levels. And we're going to go down four energy levels, the same as the periods. And we have our orbital blocks. And remember that each space represents an electron. And so we're going to place all 33 of those electrons all the way down until we get to arsenic. Now I'm going to assume you know how to put together an electron configuration or you at least know the rules. Now if you don't know the rules, be sure to go back to my uh, YouTube channel and uh, watch the uh, video on electron configuration. Arsenic has 33 electrons. So we're going to put uh, 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, and 4s. And remember there now the 4s is filled before the 3ds. 3d10, and then 4p3. And that's the electron configuration. But let's look at the orbital notation. Arsenic has 33 electrons. So we'll put two electrons there, one up and one down. And that is to represent the opposite spins that the electrons have. And now we'll fill in the 2s and the 2p, remembering Hun's rule. And again, the 3s and the 3p. And again, remembering Hun's rule. Hun's rule telling us that there must be at least one electron in each of the orbitals before pairing. And that applies to the p's and the d's. Let's fill up the 4s, and of course 4s fills before 3d because of the orbital or overlap. And again, Hun's rule. And there we have it, the orbital notation. And I'll recap, determine the number of electrons, determine the energy levels, and that all comes from the periodic table. Then determine the orbitals, write the electron configuration, write the orbital notation, and be sure to use your periodic table. All right, if you have any questions, be sure to send an email to mrkazi at mrkazi.com. And uh, I'll try and answer as many as I can. Happy Irons, everyone.